I will show you five tools that are not only free, but super useful for an investor or trader like you. You will learn multiple time saving tips and make sure you watch till the end because I will also show you how to save money. First up, we have TradingView software. If you plan to invest or trade any kind of stock, you have to use TradingView or a similar kind of charting software because it will show you when is the right time to buy or sell the company. For example, here I'm using a stock screener and I can select any of the popular screens. If I want to find, for example, a dividend king or a bullish undervalued company. If you don't like these filters, then you can change, for example, price to earnings and select from 25 to 50. Then it will give you a different range of companies and you can research it yourself. If you like these filters, then you can save and in the future, it will give you exactly the same settings as you saved it. The next important feature that I like is the calendar and it will show you all important economic events that are about to happen over the next week. You can also filter it by high importance. And in this case, you can see that on the 12th of September, there will be a report core inflation rate year over year. So in this case, you can sell some of the stocks that you are worried about or you can buy some insurance for protection. Next, you can click on earnings tab and it will show you the list of all companies that will report earnings results over the next week. So once again, you can buy or sell some of the positions if you want to play earnings. But there is also another earnings calendar and this is my preferred way actually to see all the companies over the next week that will report earnings results because I can list them in order of their market cap. So you can pay attention for example, just to the top five biggest companies over the next week. Here is the main feature of the software, which is charting. You don't have to have all these indicators if you're just starting. So I can turn off volume, RSI, stochastics, MACD, other things. And you can pay attention only to the price action here. So you can see that I've got a lot of lines which are moving averages. And once again, you can turn them off if you don't want to see all of it at the same time. At the moment, the price is near this yellow line, which is a 50 day moving average. So it could be a strong support and you have to pay attention if the price will bounce of this area and will go up. If not, then there is likely going to be a bigger correction. You can also draw different lines. For example, I believe that $220 is a strong support because it was bouncing off this area, then bouncing off again here. And once again, we're near this area. So we have to see what's going to happen over the next week. You can also draw a price target so you can remember what is the fair value of the company. So for example, I believe the fair value of this stock is $170. And if the stock price is above this line, then it is overvalued. And if we are to see a bigger correction, then it could be a good opportunity to add a small portion to my portfolio if the stock price would reach $170 sometime in the future. If you would like to learn more about this software and want me to do a deeper review of other features that I use to buy and sell different companies, then let me know down in the comments below. Now I will give you some tips how you can save money if you want to get premium features from this software. Obviously you can sign up for free if you want to research the software yourself, but you will access only basic features. If you scroll down, you will see there are multiple plans and I use premium. There are multiple reasons why I selected this plan. If you select auto chart patterns, then it will give you the most common technical patterns. So you can decide, is it a bullish setup or is it a bearish setup and whether it's a good time for you to buy or sell the stock. So it's a good starting point. If you don't know anything about technical analysis, it will definitely help you out a bit. Another feature that I like about this premium plan is that, that you have 400 price alerts compared to basic where you get only five price alerts. So imagine that you have nearly 400 companies or 100 companies in your watch list. You obviously won't have time to check every single single company every day. So that's why I set up nearly 400 price alerts and it's going to obviously take you a month 
maybe a couple of months and then you will get email alerts when a company reaches a certain price target for example or you can get a push notification to your phone now you may be wondering how to save money for example with this premium plan it costs you nearly six hundred dollars per year to get all these premium features and if you get a lot of value out of it then of course many people pay six hundred dollars but the way i did it i signed up for free i used it for a month just to make sure that i like it then i upgraded to this plan and i had another 30 days for free and i time it properly because i signed up sometime in September for free use it for 30 days then I had another October to get 30 days of this free plan and in November a lot of companies they do big shopping sales before Black Friday before Christmas so you may be lucky and you may get a 50% discount of this plan and you may save nearly $250 per year the next website that I like is called Wall Street it's perfect for you if you don't like numbers and prefer to see easy to read infographics in this case you will get a snowflake about each company and it will show you the strong side of the stock and the weak side of the company then you will scroll down and you will get multiple articles from different analysts obviously you can read each one and get a different perspective about the company next you will get a list of competitors and once again it will give you a snowflake showing the strong side and the weak side and one of the most popular features of this website is the fair value of the stock they've got their own formula how they work out the share price and you can use this as one of the sources to work out what is the fair value of the stock and obviously you have to be careful and and do your own research another feature that i like about it is that they've got a different kind of stock screener and you can uh, select one of the most popular screens for example you want to consider some of the high growth tech and AI stocks so you select this option and it will show you all the filters selected and there are 249 companies obviously you can adjust it to reduce the number but one of the most valuable features is that every time there is a new company added to this list you will get an email notification which is quite convenient if you are time poor and if you get this email you can open have a read and decide for yourself do you want to invest in this company or not another feature that i like about this software is the watch list once you have added the companies to your list you will get an email notification every time there is an important news about your particular stock for example when there is an insider sale or an insider purchase you will get an email and it could be an indicator for you whether you should buy the company or sell this company i'd like to get your opinion have you used simply wall street or trading view do you like it or not leave your comments below i almost forgot to say that you will be able to review only about 10 companies per month for free and if you want to get all other premium features and unlimited number of companies per month then you can sign up for a 14 day trial if you follow the link below in my description the third tool that i use is called zex they are one of the most trusted names when it comes to stock research and one of the most popular features here is called zex rank where they basically rate each stock from one which is this green color that's a strong buy to five which is a red color and it says strong sell and this is one of the indicators that tells you how the company is likely to perform in the near future obviously this is not the only indicator that you have to use and this is just an additional tool in your toolbox to guide you whether it's a good time to buy the company or maybe you should stay away and the way the x rank work is they judge how a number of full-time professional analysts view the future earnings of each company for example if most of these analysts revise the earnings up so they believe that the company will report better than they guided then it may deserve zex rank number one strong buy or number two just a buy and on the other side if those full-time professional analysts believe that the company will actually report less than they guided the market then then it could be a strong sell so this is just one of the sources that you may want to pay attention to when it comes to a time when you want to buy the company or if you want to sell the stock another tool that you may want to try is called stock unlock and this is very similar to simply wall street 
because this website presents you all these numbers in the easy to understand way. For example, they score profitability of this company at 4.6. So it means they are profitable above average. They've got good management, score 5, means they don't waste your money. But on the other side, the valuation is awful. So you have to judge for yourself whether you should invest in this company, should you trade this company, or maybe you just stay away and don't waste your time. Another feature that I like about this website, it's got free form. For example, you can compare two different companies and you can see on this screen, I've got Amazon in the yellow line and Apple the green line. And I'm using price to operate in cash flow. And it tells you that Apple was undervalued compared to Amazon. But in 2023, it flipped and Amazon became undervalued. It also tells you that Apple was trading as low as seven price to earnings. It also tells you that Apple was trading as low as seven price to operating cash flow. Average was 16. And I have to remind you that's the average over the last 10 years from 2013 to 2024. Median was nearly 14 and high 13. Same Amazon 16 low average 27 median 26 high 46 so you can see for yourself that at the moment Amazon is 17 so and Apple is 29 so Apple is trading near all-time high while Amazon at the time is trading near all-time low so maybe it's a good time to invest in Amazon instead of Apple obviously I'm not a financial advisor and this is not a financial advice. The tool number five is called Alpha Spread. This is another website that helps you to make a quick decision if the company is undervalued or overvalued. They've got their own formula, how they work out the intrinsic value. And the thing that I like about it, that they give you three options. For example, the base case is $149. The worst case is $114. Best case is $200. $18. Then if you want to find out what is the relative valuation, you can click here and it will show you what is the current price to sales, which is 8.7, then versus the industry average, which is 13. Then it will also show you what was the median over the last three years. That was seven for Apple. Median over the last five years, that was 6.7. That's for Apple. Then you've got price to earnings and many other multiples. So it gives you a lot of information that you can use use for yourself and then make up your mind. You can also compare price to earnings multiple to other companies in the industry. And then according to this screen, you see that Apple is overvalued. I will also give you the bonus tool number six. It is called tip ranks. On this website, you can see the average price target from 34 Wall Street analysts over the next 12 months. It is as low as 186 and as high as $300. So this information is all free, available to you. And if you pay a fee, you will also be able to see how reliable the analyst is and what is his price target and the date he assigned this price target. If you want to learn about another undervalued company, then follow the link in this corner. And make sure you subscribe because in the next video, I will show you my personal portfolio. I will discuss my mistakes so you can learn from it and be more profitable. If you use my affiliate links, I'll earn a commission, which helps support the channel and cover production costs. I personally use their services for stock research.